Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. And if you had a cooler day the other day like we did, I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I actually was able to run some errands. Not, not, um, literally run, but you know what I mean. Um, so, trying to put something back and hope it doesn't come fall down. <laughs> so, I was thinking about why I seem to say, and I hear other people seem to say, gosh, it seems like when you get older, life just goes so fast. I know I've mentioned on here, like, it was Friday, and then it's like Friday again. Or we just had the weekend, and it's the weekend again. But then I heard from other people that said they remember growing up and their parents saying the same thing. And so I'm a person that if there is something like, why do we feel life goes faster? Mostly adults, I would say. Well, my son said he feels that way too. But I thought, why, why, what in the world is it? So I started doing some searching. I think I'd make a great researcher because I like to search things up. Search things, not up. <laughs> so I started looking into things and all. By the way, did you know that turtles and elephants live a very long time? I tried to put a turtle and elephant on the screen, then I tried to make it like like the pictures would rotate through a row, but this this tablet and I do not agree because it didn't work. <laughs> But anyhow, I will tell you that at the end. It'll make sense. So do you feel that way? Did you feel that way when you were little that your parents always said, Gosh, the week goes so fast. Life goes so fast. Time goes so fast. Or do you now that you're an adult doing adulting that my son and I always kid around. I say to him, so how do you like adulting? And he says, uh, I'd rather be back being a kid <laughs> wouldn't we all right your bills are paid your food on the table you don't have to worry about all those things right usually I mean every situation is different but the norm would be the kids just live a kid's life enjoy childhood and parents worry about all that so in my research that I did that back in the day and I don't know what day I'm talking about. And I don't know what day people say when they say back in the day. I guess their day. But I heard that too. That, you know, there wasn't enough hours in the day. And then I started comparing. What was different, say, 50 years ago to now? A lot. A lot. So, nowadays, everything is fast. Fast. Everything's so fast. You know, there's cell phones come out. Once a phone comes out, a new one comes out right away. The other one is pss, worth nothing, right? Computers, laptops, other kind of gadgets. As soon as one comes out, I preview it, prevail it, put it out. Don't know the word I'm searching for. It doesn't matter, no. But anyhow, the next one's there. You know, a car, the next one's there. I don't know, the car business doesn't look like it's doing too good. But anyhow, you know what I mean. It's like a fast-paced world. Everyone wants to keep up. Well, let me tell you, I ain't one of those people. I got one of those awful prepaid phones that are just total garbage. <laughs> but anyhow, so I think for now the answer would be because our world is just fast, fast, fast. Keep up with the Joneses, which probably was back in the day, too. Not everyone, and not everyone with what I'm talking about today. But just like fast, we got to do this fast, we got to get this in. I know, you know, when my kids were little, I had to bring them here, there, everywhere, and I had a lot of kids, so time just zipped by. Not as fast as I think it's zipping by now, though. It seemed like the busier I was, the, well, there weren't enough hours in the day, but I don't remember saying that much. Gee, it's already Friday. It was more like, oh, when is it going to be Friday? But I guess in the scheme of things, the majority of people back in the day also said it. So I can understand now with everyone is fast paced, got to get the newest gadgets, the newest this, keep up with them. You know, just, just, um, 
it's almost like if you concentrate on, <coughs> excuse me, concentrate on all these things and gadgets and gadgets are bad, cell phones are bad. I believe they are the number one cause of breaking up marriages. That is my thought. But anyhow, that's just a side note. So I think when people are just trying to keep up with everything and then maybe, you know, charging stuff, charging things like these phones and gadgets that, you know, they don't have money to pay for and that causes stress and stress, oh, that's a whole nother ball of wax. But um, even us, we don't really, like in the summer, we don't really do anything because of my illness. I can't go out in the heat, but still time still goes so fast and I don't understand why so you would think you know is it the busier you are it seems time goes faster or if you're um, more dormant I don't know I don't I think it doesn't matter I just think when you're older time just seems to go fast like don't blink or you're 10 years older why why do you think an elephant and a turtle live a long time. Maybe you've guessed it by now. Maybe you just forgot what I even asked you. Maybe you didn't give it another thought. Well, they live longer, a longer life because what, what, what would a, a <laughs> what would a turtle and an elephant have in common? I'd say, Back in the day, nothing with me. Now, a little bit more. So, they say, you know, when you get older, things slow down. You know, you can't run around like you used to. Maybe you... Well, I shouldn't say. There are exceptions to every rule. I used to know this woman who was in her 90s, and she still climbed, uh, not Mount Everest, but one of those kind of things. Always hiked and continued. Like the phrase goes, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. I think it's true. So I think as we age, if we don't stay like, you know, I used to run, I used to um, to walk, to hike, and to dance. But I stopped. So therefore, my life is more kind of um, not the same. I don't think I'm getting across to you what I did my research on. But anyhow, forget what I just said. It didn't make sense. But anyhow, back to the turtle and the elephant. They are slow. They live their life slow. Do you think they're worrying about the next new cell phone, the next new laptop or computer? I forget what those other things are called, the smaller things. Uh, looks like a laptop, but it's a... Uh, a Chromebook, I think. They don't care. They just exist, so to say. I remember the tortoise and the hare. The something, something wins the race. What was that saying? All these old sayings. Why don't I remember? I got too much crap in my head that I got to think about. And we're having all this crap may cause stress or may not. It's just so much crap in my head that I can't remember something that I remembered so good. And it's not about getting old in my case. It's about I got too much crap in my head. Not literally crap, but you know what I mean? And I think that rushes time too. So how do you slow down time? Well, from the research I did and my own input and thoughts, I think you just got to slow it down. And I just told you, well, when you get older, you slow it down. Well, if you're in your 30s or 20s, don't slow it down. Keep going. Don't, don't all of a sudden get around like, oh, 30s old. We all thought 30 was old. It's not. 30s not old. 40s not old. 50s are the best year. The best years. 60, 70, even 80 is an old. Some people are just, keep going. Old is what you think it is. How old you are is just a number. So you gotta think, what would make you not think you're old or feel old? Because that, that is the answer how to slow time down. Because the turtle just goes slow. They won the race. Winning the race would be living to a ripe old age. 
So you should, if you're interested, maybe take out a piece of paper and write down what you could take out of your life. Like for me, I would try to, if I got something to think about, I'm thinking about, or I'm worrying about, or I'm like, you know, there's 10 appointments or 10 calls, or I don't know why using 10 as a number, but I am. Write it down on a paper. That's what I would do. I would write it down. I used to have a list when I was raising kids. I had a daily list, cross it off, whatever didn't make it that day, didn't get accomplished, I just put it on the next day. So this way, you can get it out of your head, if you're this type of person, I was talking about me. It's not going to clog up your head. And maybe you could remember that phrase, slow and steady wins the race. See, just thinking about purging all this that's in my head. And I'm really good at thinking about things that may not come to fruition. Like if I have to take a medical test, I worry like, oh my gosh, did this wrong, that go wrong. I will tell you one day about something. I went in so positive and holy crap, the meanest people were in there. It was unbelievable. And I thought, I'm not going to let them pull me down. Was that a long day? I don't remember if it felt long or not. But anyhow, you have to like put the brakes on things. Take a break. You know, I hear a lot of people, oh, I got to, you know, bring this grandson there, this granddaughter there. And that's great when you help. But if it's interfering in your life, making you so exhausted and making life just pass you by, it's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. But any things that are making things go too fast, I would try to fix. And I'm trying to work on that. Because I don't want to say, Oh, it's Friday again. It was just Friday. How could it be Friday already? Or it's already the weekend. Um, I will say I'm guilty of, oh, I can't wait till September, October because of my heat intolerance. But before I had this, I, I never, well, I honestly never would say I can't wait till September. I hated when my kids went to school. I loved when they were off for, for summer. A lot of my friends says, what is wrong with you? Oh my God, the kids will be home in summer and then they eat so much and this and that and they want to go here and there. So what? Why do you have kids for? Just my opinion. But that has changed in my life because something in my health has changed. But otherwise, I would not wish for September, but I sure am. I can't wait. I can't wait. I hold on to the words of a weatherman. And let me tell you, they talk about certain professions of people are liars. Well, weathermen, I'm not going to call them liars, but they don't know how to talk about the weather because it was Tuesday through Friday. It was going to be nice, cloudy, 71 the highest. B.S. The other day, after the day I ran the errands, it was supposed to be the same day as the last, but one temperature lower, one degree lower. I went, I had to, you know, do, do some things that had to be done. Oh my gosh, I was just getting weaker and hotter and it was horrible. It was horrible. And by the time I got home, I'm like, holy cow, whole day was destroyed. I had to try to cool myself down. It was terrible. So that's why I say I, I wait for September, October, because it's very rare that it's like this you know, close to 90. We may have what's called an Indian summer, but you know, you can pretty much be sure that it's coming cooler weather, my favorite season. So, if you feel rushed that time is going too fast, it really isn't. There's still 24 hours in a day. There's still 60 seconds in a minute. There's still, we could go on and on, but why fill that up in your head? So if you feel this way, I challenge you. What do you think makes you feel this way, and how can you make it different? Like I said, I'm going to go back to my list and not worry. If something didn't get done, it just goes on to the next day, and the next day, and the next day. There's not that stress of, oh, it's got to be done. I don't really think there's anything that is so important that it's got to be done today, you know, unless it's maybe some legal stuff or, I don't know, a deadline at work, you know, something like that. But otherwise, I think you have the power. And I'm interested to see, and I hope you take this challenge, in a month from now, 
I will ask if you have found that Friday or the weekend doesn't come so quick. Now, some of you may have jobs and want it to come quick. That's fine, but still, it's called, you know, smell the coffee. Take time to smell the roses, you know. I prefer the roses and the coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, and the smell of it is nauseating to me. But nothing wrong with you like drinking coffee or liking the smell. So I'm going to try to see if I can make a difference so time doesn't seem like it's going that fast. And getting rid of stress and cutting down on your sugar are two ways to do it. Two of many. So if you do this, if you'd be willing to say you take on this challenge and then in a month from now, tell, tell us, me, us, all of us on my channel, how you did it, did you do it, did it work, didn't it work, does it still feel time goes fast, or have you found a secret in your life that works for you? So let's try together to see if we can make it feel like time is not going fast. We all know it's going the same. Every day has the same hours in a day. Every week has the same hours. But how can we make it feel like it's not passing us by. So that I challenge you with. So for now, remember the elephant and the turtle and see if you can become that elephant or that turtle. I don't mean to sit around and eat bonbons, nothing like that. Just to weigh, and I think it's more mental that does it. But if you take this challenge and report back, we'll see if anyone takes it. Once a week, we could report in. I hope you do this challenge because that in itself, I think, would be one part of making life not seem like it's going that fast. So for now, thank you for those who are subscribed, who just subscribed, who've been subscribed since day one, who come and go. And then let's talk about those who watch my, my channel but don't subscribe. Please subscribe. It is free. Just smash that subscribe button. Help us be able to monetize. Press the likes. If you press the like, it helps the algorithm. And then YouTube sees that, oh, a lot of people are interested. If you comment, I think that does something too. I'm not sure. But then it moves my, my video up and I see it. I see it up there, out there. And... People click on it. If it's not put out there, they're not going to know I exist. So help a girl out. Just press subscribe and like. It would really help. But for now, I'm excited about this and I hope you do it. I hope it's not just my son and I that are going to do it. But for now, I wish you a happy Thursday. And let's hope Saturday isn't like a blink of eye and it's here. Unless, of course, you work and you really need that to get you through, then, you know, that's that. So, for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification so you know when a video comes out. Be kind to people you don't know what they're going through. Our whole world, our country, we're going through a very hard time, so people are all having a hard time. Plus, their own crap they got to deal with, right? Pay it forward if you can. It will make you and the person you help feel really good. Be the reason someone smiles today. There's nothing better than to smile. Because no matter what is bothering you, a smile, back in the day, a hug, when people used to hug each other, right? It felt good. So for now, I challenge you to take on this challenge. Thanks for watching. A hug for all of you. Shall I say the secret word that never works to shut this off? No, let's just say... Bye for now, and wait for this thing to shut off. We shall see. I don't know why it takes so long, but it does.